I just got done with my overnight backcountry camping uh, trip there at Pitchard Rock up to Chapel Beach via uh, Mosquito River. It was an amazing hike. The section of the North Country Trail going along the shoreline is just spectacular. So I'm going to get ready to move on here. Got a little drive ahead of me. And uh, this lot is jam packed. People are circling, uh, waiting to take my spot. So I'm going to move on continue this adventure. See cars are lining up along the road out here. Weird, I didn't see that many people on the trail coming out. They must have been going up the other end of the loop. Away we go. Okay, we are getting rolling today. We had to take a day downtime. I just hunkered down and spent a full day just getting caught up on some video work. Found a place to overnight. And we're getting up to blue skies today. It's taking me a little bit to get my day going here, but we're gonna be heading towards Marquette, Michigan. I've got my diesel heater showing up at a UPS store I'm going to pick up, so we're going to head there right now. It has been delivered, and then I'm going to be moving on from there a little bit west to find a place to camp. Hopefully that all works out, but we've got some nice weather on our hands for a few days, so I'm just going to try to make the best of it as we enjoy being up here in the upper peninsula of Michigan. Getting back on Highway 28 West. Stop a little scenic uh, turnout, roadside park. Away we go. into Marquette, Michigan here. Right on the coast of Lake Superior. Pretty awesome. Feels like a beach town. Make my way over to the UPS store, pick up my package, and I'm gonna do a little shopping, stock up on groceries, and get ready to head for my next camp. Well, I stopped at the UPS store in Marquette, Michigan. Picked up my diesel heater. I'm gonna try to install that at my next camp here I'm headed to. Stocked up a little bit on groceries, so I feel like I'm good to go for a little bit. I'm gonna drive about 70 miles. Heading west, see if I can find a riverside camp. Charging 319 a gallon for gas there. I can enjoy the ride. Oh, it is beautiful country out this way. Lots of lakes. Ruth Lake off to the right there. Still using uh, Highway 41 North. Gonna be hooking up with Highway 28 West here pretty quick. Make our way towards hopefully a potential camp. Well, 
I turned down this forest road here, and there was a couple uh, National Forest Service trucks pulling out with uh, trailers with four wheelers. They're out today doing some work of some sort. Looks like there's been a little bit of maintenance done recently on this road, coming here with the grader. So pretty smooth. We're gonna keep on cruising, see where we end up. Ah, it feels good to be on the forest roads again. Love me some National Forest. down quite a bit here. Get that feeling that we are coming up upon a river. You can see a river on the map. It looked like this road kind of end there. And I zoomed in on Google Maps uh, satellite view. It looked like some camping opportunities. There's something off to the right there. Like we've got a bridge coming up crossing over this river. Hey, there's the river. We're on the right track. Wow, pretty. A nice solid bridge. I did pass a group of people on ATVs coming out. Looks like I got a hunter behind me. I can see his dog with his head out the window. You know it is hunting season. There's a little camping area down here. Yeah, it's a little camping area. There's actually little posts with numbers. And it looks like there's someone camped here. Empty camp. Tent pitched. Hey, this is awesome. Oh, another little trailer up ahead there. It's a nice little spot here. Number six. I think that's going to end up being our camp. Heck yeah. Well, what a score on a camp spot here. I'll give you a little glimpse. Beautiful spot right in the trees here. A nice little fire ring table. This is my diesel heater here. We'll unbox this and give you a look at what that's all about. And then right through here, it's a little path right to the river. Go check it out. Well, how about that? A good sized river there. It's flowing pretty good. Camp's just right through here. All right, I'm gonna get settled in. I skipped lunch, so I gotta get some food in me. This will work. It's just the kind of camp I was looking for. Be able to post up here for a few days at least. Got some couple sunny days, and it looks like we got a few days of rain as well. I wanna see if I can get that diesel heater installed. 
This is awesome. What a great little camp. That will work. I've oh, just been working on tidying up my diesel heater install job here. Getting the wiring all cleaned up. I have to secure that. Seems to be working good. It is a beautiful day though here at camp, so I'm trying to be outside. Love this little spot here. Just laying in the hammock here, dozed off for a minute. Do have the shower tent up, although currently I'm just storing some stuff in there while I installed the heater. And I got my shower water heating up. It's in the low 70s today, so just got the black water jug here warming up. It's nice and warm already. Just been there a couple hours. Ah, uh, loving this spot. It's been pretty peaceful here. Just really been enjoying being able to work on projects on my own time. Just slowly get things done at a leisurely pace. It's been real nice. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you checking in. I decided I'm going to do a separate video showing the install on my diesel heater. I'm sure I'll get a lot of questions about that. I used a diesel heater on my last van and I was really happy with it. Um, although I didn't make any videos showing how I installed it. So I wanted to be sure to document it this time around on my this camper van setup. So you can look out for that on my next upload. And I hope you guys are doing well out there. And we'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Peace.